So guys, for the first step, you want to head over to search and type in CMD. Then you want to run it as administrator. And then click on yes. Now once you're on this, we're going to type in NETSH space Winsock space reset and click on enter. Then we're going to type in ipconfig space forward slash flush DNS and click on enter again. Now we're going to type in ipconfig space forward slash renew and click on enter again. Now we're going to type in NETSH space INT space IP space reset and click on enter again. It's going to ask you to restart your computer, but don't do it yet to complete the next steps in the video. Now for the second step, you want to head over to search and type in view network connections. Click on it. Now once you're on this, you want to find your network adapter. You want to double click on it and then click on properties and then click on internet protocol version 4. Now we're going to select to use the following IP address and you just want to copy what I type. So 192.168.2.153. Now for the subnet mask, just click on it once and then this should appear like this. And then click on the default gateway, 192.168.2.2. .2. And you want to make sure that use the phone DNS server just has also been selected. And then for the preferred DNS server, we're going to type in 1.1.1.1. .1 and then for the alternate DNS server, we're going to type in 1.0.0.1. And click on OK. Now for the last step, you want to head over to search and type in device manager. Click on it. Now once you're on this, you want to expand network adapters. And then you want to find your network adapter. You want to right click on it, click on update driver, and then click on search responsive for drivers. Make sure they have the best drivers installed for your device. Now you want to restart your computer and then the problem should be fixed. 